None of this makes sense. I mean, this is the most confused. You know, even Colombo would be double scratching <laughs> his head on this one. Going, Hang on a second. This <coughs> so you sent it to a... What we're saying is, so let's take the Omid uh, Scoby point. You sent it to your publisher and they sent it elsewhere. And a couple of translators just wrote their own chapter <laughs> for the book. Yeah. And in it, they... Or what a paragraph, no, whatever it is. Shove some names in. Shove some yeah. names in there, which would have presumably had to have been within a paragraph or a context to make it happen. So that that bit doesn't make any sense mm -hmm. either. Uh, Megan and who's the other fellow? Harry. Here. <laughs> Those yeah, two have said nothing, which I find extraordinary because they might have come out and gone, "Can you? Know, can we stop this? Is this is not the king and it's not yeah. the princess? Well, they've said nothing at all." As yet, the palace and they're slightly stumped, I think, on this JJ because it's very hard to them. To, yeah. them to respond to this kind of stuff. But the whole thing is a right royal mess. <laughs> it is a right royal mess. I don't even know what to say about it. Because you're right, Harry and Meghan did, did come out initially and say it wasn't the Queen, it wasn't Philip, mm. even though if we all know he's an old, he was an old racist, but it wasn't him, it wasn't <laughs> Philip, okay? So they could come out now and say, it's not my dad and it's not my sister-in-law. Yeah. And also, Scobie, whilst you're at it, stop telling everyone our business because it's not true. The fact they haven't done that makes me question why. Yeah. Ian, I worked in publishing for 10 years. I've written and published 10 books. There's only... <laughs> I mean, I'm not, I'm not, like, giving away trade secrets to tell you that there, there's no way a name would be inserted into a manuscript by translators. So either this is just a really, like, clever way of getting a huge amount of publicity, which it's got, or there's something else going on. It I mean, doesn't make sense. And the fact that Catherine is one of the people named as one of the royal races, I think if you were going to think of someone who's probably the most woke, the most aware, the most sensitive, yeah. it would be Catherine. Yeah. She's probably the most in touch. You know, yeah. she talks about mental health. She talks about all these issues. The idea that Catherine would be speculating about a baby's skin colour, mm. whether or not we and think that's, that's racist. Or whether, or whether or it's racist. I mean, this is the kind of stunt you'd expect from the, like an odious opportunist like Omid Scobie. Oh, yes, the public are too stupid to realise <laughs> that actually, you know, I, I wrote a book and some, someone else inserted names into the book. I mean, it, it's completely ridiculous. I can't help but feel sorry for King Charles because he's in his mid-70s and he really doesn't need this rehashed. I mean, when this initially broke, I thought, my goodness, he doesn't really need this. This man is in his 70s. And, and now the fact that we keep harping on about it because you have people like Omis Gobi trying to make money off of it, I think is even more vile. Um, at the end of the day, I, I, what, what I'm gleaning from this whole situation is I don't think there's a royal racist. I don't think it's, there's anything remotely racist about trying to speculate about what a couple, the, the child of an interracial couple would look like. But from what we already, we can glean, Harry was the one who was present for this conversation that apparently made him feel uncomfortable. He relayed that message to Meghan. And if I was in Meghan's shoes and I, and I heard it, at least from what he made it seem, I would feel offended that I'm marrying into this family and I don't feel particularly welcome because maybe they might think my child will come out too dark or whatever. That's what I would think. So I could understand her. But on Harry's case, he's clearly an idiot because I think he, he, <laughs> He relayed a message in bad faith to someone who doesn't know his family, who didn't grow up with them, and would obviously get a negative impression from it. That's all I'm getting from this.